Hi. Uh, very difficult to lead an ideal life. Yes, it is. But then, uh, experienced people, when they talk about life, they have some anecdotes, and those are very, very meaningful. We are very, very lucky to have our elderly members in our families, in our society, who keep talking to us. But they do not approach us. We need to go and talk to them. There are 10 things which I have learned in my life and those things I actually cherish them. I relish them. I keep it very close to my heart as they are the closest experiential learning when it comes to life skills. And this is the moment I thought, let me narrate to you all. Let me speak my heart and mind to you all by reaching you all and giving you these lessons of life which I have learned during my lifetime. Number one, don't wait for the right time. Instead, create it. If you think that right time will be approaching you, I think you need to realize with consciousness that it would never. You need to create your own steps, your own agenda, your own objective and live by that. Second, don't wait for love. Just feel and give love. You'd never, never get love unless you give it. Love is such a beautiful emotion of human beings. And it has to be only given if you think that you are expecting love out of the blue. It will never, never come. It will only come to them who have heart filled with love. Selfless people do not expect anything but offer. Just be there. Love, love and love without expectation. Third thing, don't wait for the path. Just find it. I don't know how many people will believe that paths, the directions are to be fought. They are to be find. And how one finds it eventually is the main crux of life. How you are able to find the right path is unless you have a goal, you know you need to reach out a destination. You need to follow a correct path. And what is that path? Whether it is a shortcut or a long cut, I don't know. You need to travel it, but you need to ensure that it's the right path taking you to that desired direction. So path becomes or direction becomes an important point. Number four, don't wait for an opportunity. Again, create it. Like, don't wait for the right time. Don't wait for the opportunity. Opportunity is not meant for all. And opportunity does not strike your doorstep. It is you who knock the doors of opportunity. And the opportunity welcomes you. If you are standing there at that door and wanting to enter, Unless if you are not striving hard for that particular door, I think it will be just living by luck. You need to create your own opportunity doors. Number fifth, don't compare. You are a unique personality. People try to ape someone, to copy someone. The art of duplication is there for all to grab. But I don't know how unique you are lies with your own body language, with your own predisposition, with your own upbringing, with your own learning, with your own environment. Why the hell you need to copy someone else? You cannot just copy to the perfection. Why at all do it? Be yourself and maybe believe in yourself. Number sixth, don't avoid failure. Use it to make it a stepping stone for success. Easier said than done. I know failure actually pulls you down. Failure dumps you. Failure stops you. Failure is a big mind block. And many a times turns out to be a roadblock. Let the failure be as good as anything else. As good as faltering, as good as falling, as good as getting ill, as good as, you know, maybe tossing a coin and something which is not uh, your wish, something which is not falling in place 
as per your desire as per your aspirations learn out of it failures are there because it's just a resultant of whatever that you are doing mind you if you're doing enough failure should not touch you and in case if it touches just come over it see it as a resultant work towards a better result do not try to repeat the same thing perhaps you land up a uh, thomas alva edison way seventh don't dwell on mistakes learn from them as i said for failure i think mistakes are also there to err is human why not err and be human and still feel that there is lot to be learned very simple life is somewhere the success of life lies in small mistakes of life too you need to understand that life is mistakes error but do not take it to the degree where you are crossing the level and getting into or entering into blunder blunder is something which you are doing it consciously so something if you are doing it consciously it should not go to that degree and maybe mistakes can be okay to handle but they are natural so accept it naturally number 8 don't run from life instead embrace it the ultimate thing of life if you are going away is the death the extreme part of life is death somewhere in the middle if you are dilly dolling something it is something called as compromise so offense is the best defense why not face it head on and let's see what comes so people who are stronger this reminds me of abdul kalam ji he says always he used to say man needs difficulty to grow if you want to really grow and not not stagnate perhaps you need not to run from life you need to embrace it and see the other side of it is going to be a bright sunny day number 9th don't give up till you succeed staying par if you are staying par is strong then i'm sure nobody is going to come your way even if they come in terms of people or difficulties or barriers anything for that matter i think they are meant to make you stronger i think stronger when i say it's about people it's about the personality it's about the habit that you are fond of facing difficulties and every time you face you overcome them and embrace success success is on the other side what makes you successful is getting through it that's the key word number 10th don't get upset and angry to instead remain cool be calm easier said than done again because many a times people irritate you for example if i take my bike or i drive my car and someone comes in front of me i simply smile and say i'm sorry dear why take anybody's anger anguish upset for that matter and take it inside your own personality your own body your own mind instead there's always a way out to stay calmer only thing is if you practice it one day it will become a second nature and a good habit too good habit needs time if you think about it if you practice it if you are conscious i think you can follow all the 10 rules this is just out of life i think it's not in my experience it's in in everybody's life if you do this no science no art no skill it is simple live life as it is there to be lived with all those vulnerabilities with the, those pruners with those soft and hard corners with ups and downs with peaks and troughs with everything that is called as the law of impermanence of nature it is going to be there you are part of nature as long as you are part of it please think about it do not take it seriously instead just be with the flow i think going with the flow will always work but the mentality the psyche you need to build is to be more practical so this is what i have for you all today and i believe it is a general idea it is simple thing and if you believe in this i think practice it 
and if you think that others need this to be told reach out to them live life happily keep smiling that's the word thank you